Hello everyone, it's Dawn here and welcome. And today we're going to be continuing with our series of painting tree trunks with our watercolour pencils. And this time, just to make it a bit different from how you see it on the channel, so that you don't see lots and lots of pictures that are all the same, or look the same anyway, I've put some leaves on the top, just a little bit of a hint of some foliage, but we won't be covering that today. We will be doing that in another series. And we're going to do a textured tree trunk. And just like we've done before, if you've visited this channel before, we're going to start with a layer of green. And this time I'm going to use a slightly paler green. This is a sort of light earth green, for want of a better word. But you can use any palish green that you've got. And I think this will just give it, because it's thicker and this green has got a little bit of yellow in it. So it'll just give it a sort of springtimey look. That's a new technical term, of course, springtimey. And we're going to put some green on there, pop that back over there. And I'm going to pick up a sort of light to a mid brown. I'm not using specific names deliberately so that you can use a similar pencil in whatever brand that you use. So we're just going to shade that on over there like that so that we can still see the green coming through. We're not covering it completely but we're just creating texture in this one. This is a textured tree trunk. And we are going to need that again in just a few minutes or a few seconds. And we're going to blend it with our brush. I'm using a round brush for this. Because I find, for me anyway, a round brush works better. This is just a medium round brush, about a number six, I imagine. So we're just going to carry on doing that and just blend out all of that colour so that it all lovely it's all lovely emerged and before that has a chance to dry you do have to be reasonably quick not very very quick but before it has a chance to dry just take your brown again and streak down like that just in loose streaks and you will add texture what it does the water attacks the pigment or the colour in the pencil and it creates this lovely texture because it's pushing it away the water is trying to push this pigment away and what it does when it tries to do that it creates this lovely texture now you can go on forever because it's quite therapeutic and good fun but if you carry on doing that you just end up making it all brown and you wouldn't you'd lose your texture so we're going to leave it there i think and there you have a wonderful textured tree trunk and when you come back next time we've got one more tutorial to do with tree trunks which will be a tree trunk really close up and then we're going to start a new series on painting foliage so i hope you enjoy having a go at this it's good fun very therapeutic and very effective as you can see so have fun with your textured tree trunks stay safe and i'll see you next time bye bye for now